And to some tourism news now. For months, Kenya has been struggling to revive its collapsing tourism industry. The situation is, however, changing as the launch of English Point Marina at the coast and the announcement of the new unprecedented package incentive for tourists brings hope for the revamption of Kenya's tourism industry. Ashley Mazuri has more. It has been a tough two years for players in the tourism sector as visitor numbers fell owing to rising insecurity and travel advisories from primary tourism markets in Europe and the United States. Since then, the state has spent 5.2 billion shillings to revive the beleaguered sector. But now, the state is sweetening the deal even further in a bid to woo weary tourists. Speaking during the launch of the luxurious English Point Marina in Mombasa, President Uhuru Kenyatta said the state has removed VAT charges on national park fees and Kenya Wildlife Services, a move that will reduce park charges from the current $90 to $60 a day. The government has also waived the foreign tourist visa fee for children under 16 years, a move that it hopes will translate into higher tourist numbers for the country. And as a government, we continue to invest heavily in infrastructure, in the knowledge that quality infrastructure is critical to social economic transformation that we all seek to achieve in this country. The government is also working to ease travel to and around the Kenyan coast, saying it will be expanding both the Moi International and Malindi airports. The state has also commissioned the construction of the Port Reeds Mombasa Road and the Dongo Kundu Bypass that will allow tourists travel to the south coast without using the ferry. Even the Kenya ferry services will get a facelift as the state purchases two new ferries. We in government, we will bring you solutions. You in the political leadership turn down because politics is not going to help us revive our economy. The move comes months after the governments of the United States, United Kingdom and France lifted their travel advisories on the coastal strip. President Uhuru loaded the lifting of the travel advisories saying it was a testament of the improving security in the country. Ashley Mazuri, KTN Business.